from Mexico, and I'm studying Paris, and I'm now in London, I'm really happy. Uh, normally I love to talk a lot, but in English it's complicated for me. I think you have a good luck today. <laughs> I, I prefer read my, my work. I, this presentation has uh, two parts. The first, time, the first part, I want to show you something about Mexican archaeology, the Teochitán tradition, what I mean, what is uh, UBK. And the second part, I want to show you something about uh, uh, mobility analysis, what I, is some of my part of the uh, doctorate research. Firstly, I would to like to express my gratitude to the organizing committee for allowing me to participate in this event. The work I present today is a part of my doctorate investigation called the spatial configuration of the Teuchtlan tradition. Teuchtlan is complicated for me, I'm Mexican, but it's complicated <laughs> too. Yeah, in this investigation, um, we have used a range of techniques to get better picture of archaeological landscape of the tradition. For example, movement, such as catchment analysis, visibility, and distance for strategic research. This section I will present to you today is part of the analysis of movement of tradition people. The archaeological landscape reflects in many ways the activity to give them people, but also the ideas, the culture material, the culture action, the art, the religion, and how the society was organized. The analysis of landscape of the current environment allow us to retrace the action of people and to get a glimpse to certain episodes in the history. The pathways of the present elements of the landscape shaped by a man on the naval give an indication of the economic and social organization to given tradition. This element of the landscape takes shape in relation of the used space and the passage of the time. Their utilization to the involving fragmentation is fruit over time. This pathway has a morphological that vary depending on their importance in relation to the religion, economic, and or the military, and they constitute an important source of information for archaeologists and they are can kind offer of insight into the functional of search routes and a cali because they have the line of becoming the goings to activity to give people. In this paper, the objective is understand by means the archaeology the analysis of pathway, the study of movement interaction in habitat in Tequila Valley, in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. The application of GAS related method and analysis will permit new interpretation of the regional archaeology landscape and will clarify different points. What are the implications of the natural relief and the course of the river and the establishment of all lines of the movement between the archaeological site with the, the area under study? If there are a relation between the importance of archaeological site, the political or interaction, and how to analyze the informal paths within the distribution of the movement of the map. To respond to these questions, we have created a Lescott path network that we have analysis by using GIS and we have used to provide general these tools to model the cost surfer and friction surfer to digital terrain the analysis, the, the analysis of less cost path has become important in archaeology. The idea behind this analysis is that the movement from one point to other generate a cost. The objective of to choose a path of minimum cost work at less because its terms of energy or, or time is lowest. The Chitlán tradition is one of the earliest complex societies in the west of Mexico, late pre-classic period and the beginning of the middle classic period, it's, uh, 200 BCE to 400 CE. It's the social activity of the regional scale allowed to proliferation of densely inhabitant landscape along the Chequila Valley. The center of the Chitlán tradition is located to the cultural area of the west. It's the current stable Jalisco. 
this uh, area is really famous for the name tequila. This this area is for the really the drink tequila. <coughs> the most important sites of the Rajasthan Tejitlan were found in the lake area of the highlands of adjacent valley around the tequila volcano, located in the central west of Jalisco. This bay, this valley is our rich and excellent quality, well enriched soils, and has well many basins to contain exquisite swaps and lakes. The structure of the settlement partner of the tradition is based on how the biological as well as well as mineral resource and distributor. For this reason, there is a close link between the arrangement of the settlement and their function in relation for the source and resource provided by the landscape. There are a total of 62 register sites in our Tequila Valley. These are I classified for four levels. The original assignment of levels was based on different elements, including the volume of circular structure, the quality of uh, ball games. I won't explain it later what I mean. Uh, uh, is uh, the architecture, the ball game, and different elements important in the traditional Dutch plan, including the volume and circular structure and the amount of space covered by uh, say circles. The most important size under the classification, this classification is the archaeological site Wachim Montones. Wachimontones site is considered the center of the Tuchitan tradition. It is situated in the center west of Jalisco in the lake region of the highland and valley of Montequila. And the stand of the surface around the 400 or 5 acres uh, with a monumental circle construction. The development of traditional Tuchitan tradition has been defined by the one chronology, distressed from the formative, late, and the last pre classic period. Yeah, my, my work is uh, it's between uh, it's, um, in the Tequila 2 and Tequila 3 uh, process. So um, I want to show you some characteristic elements from the tradition of Chitlan. A certain tradition of Chitlan is a series of cultural and expression that encompass for many manifestations can be appreciated in elements like uh, architecture, the funerary customs, and their ceramic style, etc. The buildings of the tradition are characterized by circular pyramids surrounded by elevated circular platforms that also have a shelf and goes around it. In this way, three concentric circles set around cent a central point give shapes to every one of these buildings. Of the child, there are between 8 and 16 platforms that have temples up top and the lower part under some of these platforms, usually the modest, the modest platform. And sometimes we have the shelf stones. Shelf stones is well explained later. Yeah. <coughs> the shelf stones are characterized by vertical and nearly vertical shelf the 3 to 20 meters down into what is often underlining volcan top. The base of shafts open into one or two occasionally more horizontal chambers, uh, here perhaps 4 by 4 meters vary considerably with a low ceiling. The shaft stones were often associated with the overlying building. The artifacts found in the shaft stone are evidence of the culinary practice associated with the creation of the commercialization of this element. They are objects that tell us about the specialization and production and exchange of elements with the, this society, but they are also give a wider overview of the dynamic of regeneration interaction. This photograph is the most important shaft in, in the for the 
traditional huge uh, tradition. The ceramic culture was composed by fine ceramic were exclusive for funerary rituals, obsidian artifacts, shell, and other materials coming from different parts from of Mesoamerica. I forgot to like this. Okay, the GIS is a tool to help up to simulate the different elements to make up the landscape. The reconstruction of this reality has been carried out in consideration of the environment and archaeological data collected for work area of research. It's always necessary to be aware that the results of a spatial analysis is a simulation of the present reality with a focus on the past. Hence, we have to be conscious to this when we interpret the result. For the uh, mobility, mobility analysis, we adopt the Morieta methodology. Uh, we analyzed the less cost path. Firstly, we started from the perception that this method of analysis could explain the creation of paths between archaeological sites. Partly from the principle that at the moment of moving, the habitat of the Chiquila Valley would place more importance of saving energy rather than saving time. In addition, this analysis will work for the reconsider for consideration for natural obstacles such are as a river and body of water. In this way, the path could bear in mind the variables of the natural reliefs and secondary the existence of river or body of water that will have had to be crossed or avoided, where shooting algorithms will ascend to base an estimation of this value. One of the most important elements to calculate movement in research area in the cost surf, uh, surfer cost, and there are different ways to estimate this factor. The friction surface is the most important factor, and you can estimate by the calculating the energy spent by covering the certain distance and the time necessary to cover such a distance. Often, they are for the slope, but always linking to the <coughs> energy and time. An isotropic friction stage of the realization of the less cost path, the creation of, of the digital terrain model from the curves and the area under a story. This is an, um, an um, this is uh, how I did the, the, the process uh, for the mobility uh, analysis. It's, um, I use uh, the digital terrain model for uh, begin this analysis, and after I, I create a slope and uh, some uh, uh, friction, it's a lot of friction, and. Uh, uh, the, the end of the end analysis is having an isotropic initial, friction for uh, utilization um, in uh, in Teochitlan tradition. For this, um, okay, with the anisotropic anis friction, the generation we can uh, generate after that the less cut paths uh, between archaeological sites and the analysis of light density. That I think is the most important for this uh, process. This analysis shows the coverage to, of paths that share the same space. In the other way, to show the <coughs> levels on coverage to the lines that represent the less cost path. The analysis consists for exporting all the paths between archaeological site creator in the IDRIC program and then apply to line density tools. This provides a map of different coverage levels, which represent different shapes in relation on the degree inter of the interaction. This analysis allows us to see the most transitive routes of the region under study, which is to permit us to compare the hierarchy of the installation partner to know if there is a link with the movement dynamic. 
conclusion, the objective of applied delay cost path technique was to uh, trace the path that probably to existence in the past. The result obtained have provided us to inform information about the areas where the greatest number of paths coverages, which has permitted us to envisage the areas where the most movement happened in the region. The results, the results obtained suggest that the important size of the Teotihuacan tradition, for example, Huachimontones, the, the most important site, Loma Alta, uh, Arroyo de los Lobos in this area, Las Tanzuela, were the area with the most movement, which explains the density of inhabitants found in the same area. The archaeological data and the analysis for the information gathered have allowed us to summarize that this region was an area in which movement was relatively easy, with uh, like, uh, open areas for movement. This is more size uh, of the path and the low energy cost to connect with surrounding areas proved to this was flowing interaction between the sites and between sites and natural resources. In conclusion, this initial spatial analysis of church and tradition through GIS has helped us to better understand the spatial configuration of a shift area. This work has opened up the large, the large array of research opportunity for the future, which will progressively provide large amount of data and help us to learn more about the Deutschland tradition. Thank you.